When Susan's husband snapped a seemingly innocent family photo, she never imagined it would be the catalyst for a tumultuous turn in their lives. After the family photo shoot, designed to capture and cherish the precious moments they shared as a unit, Susan struggled to hold back tears as she examined the photograph again, her heart pounded when she arrived at a shocking revelation. With her eyes swollen from crying and her voice shaking with distress, Susan confronted her husband. Shoving the photo in front of him and demanding an explanation for the unsettling detail she had observed, his answer left her utterly shocked. Family is one of the most cherished aspects of society, and the time we spend with our loved ones is invaluable. Capturing these moments in photographs not only preserves memories but also helps connect children to their familial narrative, seeing themselves as part of an ongoing story, however. What was supposed to be a simple family portrait revealed a shocking truth that Susan could not ignore, as she examined the photo later, something caught her eye that she had not noticed in the moment, perplexed and heartbroken, she decided to file for divorce, a decision that might seem mystifying without understanding the gravity of what she discovered hidden within the photograph, the photo, intended to be a joyful record of family bonding, instead became a nightmare for Susan. The saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. And indeed, this picture spoke volumes, unveiling a secret her husband had long kept hidden. Secrets have a way of surfacing unexpectedly, and sometimes, something as simple as a family photo shoot can reveal more than anyone was prepared to see. Susan zoomed in on her husband's hand, which was intertwined with their daughter's. She noticed something off about their interaction that day. Her daughter's hand seemed unusually fidgety. This minute detail confirmed the suspicion Susan had harbored about her husband for some time. Now armed with undeniable evidence, Susan realized that what she had missed in person was glaringly obvious in the photo. This discovery was not just about an awkward hand gesture, it was about uncovering a truth that had been concealed, shaking the foundation of what she believed her family to be. This revelation was not just a moment of clarity but a moment of painful liberation from the doubts she had felt. In the scenario described, Susan, aged 38, and John, aged 45, had been a couple since their college days. They were regarded as the quintessential lifelong partners. Their journey as a couple began in high school where they quickly blossomed into sweethearts. Shortly after their high school graduation, Susan found out she was pregnant, despite the unexpected nature of this news. They embraced the challenge wholeheartedly and embarked on a new chapter together. Over the years, their life seemed almost idyllic, they secured excellent jobs which enabled them to lead the life they had always dreamed of, complete with a beautiful home and two wonderful children. However, despite the outward appearance of a perfect life, not everything was as it seemed with John. On the day a family photo was taken, a significant event unfolded. While the family was preparing for the photo shoot, John appeared unusually anxious, fiddling nervously with his hands. Susan noticed his odd behavior but chose to overlook it, focusing instead on the photographer's directions. This day was particularly special as it was their 15th wedding anniversary, and Susan, oblivious to the brewing storm, was filled with joy and pride about her life and family. To commemorate this milestone, she had organized a family photo shoot. Thinking it was the perfect way to capture these seemingly blissful moments, she had hastily arranged the photo session through a photographer recommended by a colleague, who was available almost immediately. Adding to her delight, the photo session took place on a gorgeous, sunny autumn day, with the leaves starting to display their fall colors, and the temperature remaining pleasantly warm and welcoming. While Susan was radiant and full of anticipation, John struggled to share in the joy. His discomfort was palpable as he fidgeted with his shirt, a behavior Susan attributed to his general dislike for photographs rather than suspecting anything amiss. As the family posed and the photographer snapped away, Susan's happiness was evident. She believed that capturing these moments was crucial, as they represented the peak of her happiness and the beautiful life journey they had shared as a family. She was completely unaware that these photographs would soon reveal a shocking secret John had been harboring for years, a revelation that would turn her world upside down and challenge everything she thought she knew about their life together, as Susan stood amidst her family, cradling a sense of immense gratitude and love, she couldn't help but notice a slight discordance in her husband John's expression. It didn't quite mirror her own contentment as they posed for a photograph to mark their anniversary. Her initial confusion turned to concern as the photographer approached them across the lawn, causing John's complexion to drain of color, leaving him as pale as if he had just seen a ghost. 
Despite his attempts to mask it, his discomfort was palpable. This was supposed to be a joyful celebration, yet John's reaction suggested otherwise. Triggering alarms in Susan's mind about his uncharacteristic behavior on what should have been a happy occasion, the photographer, a familiar face who had visited their home several times before, greeted the family with warmth. The family had always enjoyed his presence, but on this day, John seemed unable to respond with his usual ease, with a nervous smile plastered across his face, he looked towards the camera, but it was clear he was struggling to maintain his composure. Both Susan and the photographer could sense that something was amiss, when someone harbors a secret they fear might be exposed, their body language often betrays them, and clearly, John was struggling to keep his hidden, when Susan later received the digital album in her inbox. She was eager to relive the memories of the day through the photographer's lens, returning home from work filled with anticipation. She quickly opened her laptop and began browsing through the beautifully captured images. The photographer had indeed outdone himself. The photos were stunning, capturing the essence of their family. It seemed inevitable that they would call upon his services again for future family gatherings. However, one photo in particular caught her eye and puzzled her greatly, at first glance. One might see nothing but a happy family scene, but Susan immediately noticed something amiss with a particular photo where her daughter was playfully holding John's hand. It was John's ring finger that drew her attention, highlighted unwittingly by their daughter's innocent gesture. John's uneasy demeanor that day suddenly made sense to Susan as she scrutinized the photograph. There was something about the ring, or perhaps the way he wore it, that seemed off. John's discomfort in the photos now appeared justified and Susan found herself piecing together the clues of his nervousness that had puzzled her earlier. The family photos, meant to capture joy and celebration, had inadvertently brought a hidden truth to the surface. Thanks to an innocent interaction captured between father and daughter, as Susan continued to gaze at the image, the layers of the day's emotions, John's odd behavior, and the revealing photograph interwove, Leaving her to ponder the implications of this unexpected discovery, Susan had never believed John to be camera shy, so his discomfort during the photo shoot seemed alarming. She vividly recalled the peculiar glances exchanged between her husband and the photographer. Noticing how John was perspiring nervously, the interaction was peculiar, almost as if it harbored a secret, and Susan's intuition was spot on. At home, while reviewing the photographs, Susan's hand flew to her mouth in shock as her daughter pointed out an unsettling detail in one of the images. This can't be true, can it? She muttered under her breath, with a sinking feeling. She focused closely on John's hand, only to see her deepest fears confirmed. The ring he wore was not their wedding band, but one gifted to him by an old childhood friend. For years, Susan had harbored suspicions about John's affections towards a man he had met in high school, suspecting that his heart might belong to someone else. Now, the ring was a tangible confirmation of her fears. She scrutinized its every detail, certain it wasn't their wedding ring. There was no mistaking it. She was right all along, distraught. Susan shut her laptop and gazed at her reflection in the mirror, trying to process the revelation. She reached for the photograph again this time comparing the rings closely, everything clicked into place as she remembered John's uneasy reaction in front of the photographer, her heart raced with the realization of the truth, determined to confront John, Susan waited for him to return from work, the living room felt suffocating as she rehearsed the confrontation in her mind. Filled with a mix of despair and shock, she wondered how she had missed the signs for 15 years, why had John concealed this, why wasn't he wearing their engagement ring anymore? To ensure privacy and shield their children from potential distress, Susan asked the neighbor to watch them for the evening. When John walked through the door, she was ready. With the photo in hand, Susan confronted John, her voice trembling and eyes swollen from crying. Explain this to me, John. Explain why you're wearing this ring, she demanded, her heart pounding with anticipation and dread. John's expression softened as he realized the moment of truth had arrived. He sat down ready to face the reality of their situation and the conversation that would undoubtedly change their lives forever. Sitting across from his wife, John let out a deep, meaningful sigh, gathering all his courage. He decided it was finally time to unveil the burden he had been carrying. He could no longer bear the weight of his secret, he owed it to his wife to be completely honest. John confessed to his wife that he was struggling with his sexuality, a truth he had been terrified to share with her. John's hesitation stemmed from his deep concern for Susan and their children, they had built a family together, 
and he feared that his truth could shatter the foundation of their shared life. Despite the fear, John's confession was driven by love and a sense of responsibility. Qualities he had struggled to align with his honesty until now, it was particularly challenging for John to discuss his feelings because it involved more than just his internal conflict. The family had often hired a charming photographer who, unbeknownst to Susan, was more than just a friend to John. In fact, John and the photographer had been in a relationship for quite some time. This revelation came as a shock during a family photo shoot where the photographer was present, Susan. Blindsided by the news, felt as though her perfect life was crumbling before her eyes. However, her reaction was unexpected. When John, overwhelmed with emotion, finished his story and sobbed on the couch, Susan responded with compassion. She placed a hand on his knee, offering a sad smile of forgiveness, understanding the immense struggle he must have faced in keeping this secret. Susan's initial reaction was one of understanding, recognizing the pain and burden that John must have carried. She contemplated the enormous pressure of maintaining such a facade, remembering their wedding day and how meaningful every gesture had seemed at the time. However, as the reality of John's revelations settled in, doubt and betrayal overshadowed her empathy. The following day, fueled by a swirl of emotions, Susan filed for divorce. Time passed, and John was relentless in his efforts to prove his sincerity and truthfulness to Susan, after much persuasion. She began to believe that he had indeed been honest about his struggles. This story leaves us pondering the complexities of trust and forgiveness in relationships. What would you do if you found yourself in Susan's position? Would you have believed John from the start? Or do you think Susan was too forgiving of what some might see as odd behavior? Next to give you another story, let's continue to see it. Once upon a time, two decades ago, a preschool romance blossomed between Matt Grodsky and Laura Sheely in Phoenix, Arizona. They met at the tender age of three and quickly formed a delightful friendship. Matt, even at such a young age, was so fond of Laura that he proudly declared his adoration in front of their entire class. As they grew up, their paths diverged, they attended different schools, and, as often happens, the close bond they once shared faded into a distant memory. However, destiny had a different plan. And years later, fate brought them back together in an unexpected reunion. The story of Matt and Laura's friendship began in a lively preschool playground. Matt, instantly taken by Laura's friendly demeanor, followed her around, hoping to become her friend. This persistence paid off, and Laura found his company both entertaining and kind-hearted. The pair became inseparable, often choosing to play games like hide and seek over nap time. Much to the amusement of their parents who found their early bond utterly charming, their friendship was full of little childhood antics, they would impress each other with their Pokemon collections or compete to see who could swing the highest. Matt, ever eager to impress, once made a bold promise in front of their classmates that he would marry Laura one day, a statement that elicited laughter but highlighted the innocence and depth of their preschool bond. Transitioning to kindergarten, however, posed a challenge. They were not placed in the same class and soon found themselves in different primary schools altogether. Their only connections during this period were the occasional Christmas cards exchanged between their families, a small thread linking their past. Years passed, and both Matt and Laura prepared for high school, still in separate institutions and with little memory of their once unbreakable friendship. It wasn't until Laura, as a freshman, spotted Matt's name on a friend's phone that the past came flooding back, curious. She inquired about how her friend knew him and discovered that they had met in middle school. This revelation made their world seem much smaller and reignited the cherished memories of their early years. This story of Matt and Laura reminds us how beautifully unpredictable life can be, turning full circle from childhood promises to serendipitous reunions. It's a testament to the enduring nature of true connections. No matter how much time has passed or how far we roam, Laura's youthful connection with Matt Grodsky ignited an unforeseen idea among her circle of friends. They decided to play matchmaker, setting Laura up with none other than Matt himself. Initially, Laura was hesitant about the idea of dating Matt. As a high school freshman, she felt unsure about needing a boyfriend at that stage in her life. I don't think so. She shared with her friends, expressing her reservations. Despite her uncertainty, one of her friends went ahead and gave Matt Laura's phone number. To everyone's surprise, Matt texted Laura immediately after receiving her number. The two started chatting and soon agreed to meet up. They picked a date and went to the movies, quickly rekindling their connection as if no time had passed. In an interview with a magazine, Matt admitted he felt as captivated by Laura as he had been in preschool. 
the chemistry was undeniable, and despite having been just friends in preschool with no promise of a future connection, their reunion felt like stepping back into their early childhood days. After a successful first date, they officially became a couple and started dating earnestly, navigating separate high schools, their relationship was sustained by their new ability to drive, which allowed them to attend school dances and other events together. However, as college approached, they faced the inevitable challenge of distance. Laura decided to attend Northern Arizona University, while Matt went to Columbia College in Chicago, placing a daunting 1,600 miles between them. Unlike their earlier years, distance was no longer an insurmountable barrier for Matt and Laura. Both were determined to sustain their relationship. They fully immersed themselves in their college experiences yet worked hard to keep their relationship strong, even though they were in different time zones. Social media and FaceTime enabled them to maintain frequent visual communication, and they visited one another in their new cities whenever feasible. Nevertheless, the greatest challenge came when they had to endure a separation of six months, which truly tested their commitment. Throughout their time in college, both realized that they genuinely wanted to be together. Despite the growing challenges posed by the distance, Matt, feeling the strain, decided it was time for a grand gesture. He planned a surprise for Laura, a romantic lunch at their old preschool. Pretending it was just a simple outing, Matt told Laura they were attending a preschool picnic. As reported by the Huffington Post, I framed it as a lovely, tranquil date after our junior year of college, Matt explained, Laura, unsuspecting of the true nature of the picnic had no idea they were headed to the very preschool where their story began almost two decades earlier. Matt was thrilled about the opportunity to surprise Laura in such a meaningful way, hoping to reignite their childhood magic at the place where it all started, to symbolize the depth of his love and to revisit the place where their extraordinary romance first blossomed. Matt decided to take Laura back to the very beginning of their preschool. As they drove to the location, Laura noticed that Matt seemed unusually nervous, fidgeting throughout the car ride. She initially thought his anxiety stemmed from the anticipation of their planned picnic at the preschool. Upon arriving, Laura was deeply moved by Matt's thoughtful gesture. Standing in the place where they had first met as children, she felt incredibly fortunate to have him in her life, and her emotions overwhelmed her. The setting brought back a flood of memories and a sense of destiny that they had come full circle. The moment turned magical when Matt got down on one knee in front of her and proposed. Laura was astonished and overjoyed uttering in disbelief, oh my goodness, is this really happening? As she gazed at the ring, she exclaimed, wow, I'm overjoyed, I had no idea, clearly, her answer was a resounding yes, Matt had meticulously planned the proposal on May 23, 2015, although the idea had taken shape several months prior. He had sought her father's blessing and had chosen a stunning engagement ring well before asking for her hand in marriage, despite both still being in college, Matt felt certain about their future and didn't want to delay their engagement. Matt knew Laura was the one for him and decided to take the next step. Reflecting on this milestone, Matt revealed, I proposed to her at the very spot where it all started, in our preschool classroom, he explained to the Huffington Post. You just stand up and say what you need to say. I did it that way 20 years ago, and I did it again when I proposed to Laura, their wedding, which took place at the Arizona Historical Society on December 30th. 2016, celebrated not just their union but also their unique beginning as preschool sweethearts. The ceremony included Elton John's Can You Feel the Love Tonight, paying homage to Matt's childhood penchant for quoting Disney movies, Matt's uncle noted. While most kids in preschool were busy with snacks and naps, these two were busy finding their soulmates. The celebration extended beyond the ceremony, with a reception that brought together their friends and family in joyous celebration. The dance floor became a focal point of the evening, where Matt and Laura, along with their supportive community, danced energetically. Speaking to People magazine, Matt and Laura shared, The dance floor was our favorite part of the wedding. It was incredible to be surrounded by everyone who has supported us throughout our journey. Friends and relatives often remarked on how special Matt and Laura's love was, something Laura recognized as unique, inspired to share their love story. Laura juxtaposed a cute preschool photo with a more recent one and shared it online. Once submitted, this tale of preschool sweethearts quickly captured the hearts of many across social media platforms. Matt and Laura continue to reminisce about their shared past and look forward to their future together, cherishing each moment and celebrating their lifelong connection. 
Matt and Laura's childhood romance blossomed when they were just three years old, Matt confessed, I was immediately smitten with Laura as a child, and that feeling has never left, their love story captured hearts worldwide after they decided to share it online, quickly going viral and becoming a beloved tale among readers. Their story's overwhelming reception exceeded their expectations, garnering over 30,000 likes and 1,000 comments when first posted, Laura soon discovered that their story had reached over 400,000 people, prompting media interest from numerous outlets, prestigious platforms like the Huffington Post, the Today Show, and People magazine featured their story, sharing the delightful details of their long-standing connection. Presently, Matt works as an account executive in a digital marketing firm. While Laura dedicates her career to a nonprofit that supports foster children, the couple recently purchased a new home, which they've been personalizing to make their own. Their family also expanded with the joyful addition of a puppy named Kirby, marking the beginning of many new adventures. While adjusting to their new roles as pet parents, Matt and Laura are also contemplating the idea of having children. In an interview with People, Laura shared, We definitely see kids in our future. Right now, we're just enjoying life with Kirby in our new home. The couple's past few years have been filled with milestones including graduations, engagements, a wedding, buying their first home, and adopting Kirby. After nearly a decade of lost contact, Matt and Laura rekindled their relationship and have since built a deeply connected and loving life together. They cherish their unique story and never take their reconnection for granted. The best part of our relationship is that we can be silly and appreciate each other every day, they mentioned in an interview, highlighting the importance of laughter and mutual respect in their marriage. Despite being newlyweds, they have years of togetherness under their belts and understand the nuances of making a relationship flourish. Laura adores Matt's sense of humor. While Matt is captivated by Laura's contagious smile and her passion for helping the less fortunate, it's inspiring to be around her every day, he says. Their story serves as a testament to the enduring nature of true love, and they continue to inspire those around them. Do you have any thoughts after hearing the above two stories? We'd like to hear your thoughts. Tell us in the comments section. That's all for today's story. Please subscribe and give a thumb up. See you next time.